What's up comic book readers? Welcome to Too Many Comics. I'm your host Eric and today we are taking a look at a title published by Dark Horse Comics. Resident Alien Welcome to Earth Written by Peter Hogan with art by Steve Parkhouse. This book collects the first four issues of the series which sets in on a sci-fi detective fiction. The premise is very classic to its genre. An alien crash landed on Earth and will use his training and special abilities to blend in with the people. Only problem, his mental abilities that keeps him disguised from the population won't work on some humans. The estimates is about 1 in a million, therefore approximately 6,000 individuals. In order to stay safe and lower the risks of being discovered, the alien, who chose the cover name of Dr. Harry Vanderspiegel, decided to settle for a cabin far in the wood on the outskirts of a small Pacific Northwest town. The story kicks off when he is pulled out of his retreat by local authorities. The reasons? The town's doctor has been killed and they need him to examine the body and they also need someone to replace him while they search for a new one. If at first the alien is not inclined to help, he will shortly feel compelled to investigate the murder and spend time with humans. We will also learn a bit more about the alien's past and how a special government agency, which reminds us of the man in black, is presently searching for him. While the story is not deep and nothing that hasn't been done before, there is a lot to enjoy about this book. The dialogues flow naturally and perfectly making the suspense intriguing. The plot also never feels too slow nor too quick giving the right pace to keep the reader's attention. Likewise, the art plays a major role in the general feel of the book. The color palette, inking and drawing used in this comic blends classic with modern techniques. At first, the overall look might seem a bit dated, but as the reading goes, it creates a sort of comforting atmosphere recalling classic TV shows and movies using the same tropes. In the end, it feels good to read a comic that doesn't rely on edginess and extreme violence to stand out. Instead, it uses clever narration with clever panel layout to create a sense of enigma which is much appreciated. Well, this is it for this video, and until next time, keep on reading.